Well, it's one of the most annoying things that can happen with Too Good To Go. When you turn up to a place and it's cancelled, but to have, actually have it closed with a sign on door and they've not even updated the system to say that the order was cancelled, that there were going to be nobody there. Let's just say it's frustrated me greatly because we had to sit in some right traffic to get into Sheffield today. So anyway, I'm going to go and collect my second or well, my first now. Too good to go back. If you've not guessed already, we're back at Chakra Lounge for us weekly food now. Three weeks in a row we've been coming here. And we're back again. Well, the temple goes for a rocky new facelift. Closed. Are we having a laugh now or what? Sacral Lounge. Will temporarily close for it. It's closed. All the tables are on the tail. Look at that. You can write this now. I actually think that uh, Devon's going to have a breakdown because we actually stopped fitting a floor. We're redoing his house and he's been up since early this morning fitting some LVT. Very intricate pattern. And he's stopped to come into town. And now that's the second one. That's closed. I don't tell him, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? They were closed. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. They were closed for refurbishment. They didn't think of telling you either. No, nope. they didn't think of telling me either. <laughs> So as you can imagine, in fact, I bet you can feel the frustration coming through the screen. Such a frustrating thing to happen. Because, you know, if you use Too Good To Go, you know that there is the ability to cancel. And whether that's a customer or whether that's somebody who's listed on there, you've always got the ability to cancel. I normally complain about these wind chimes, but maybe they will help to rebalance. Anyway, things. we've got a bag from Greg's. We planned a little route and the last stop was Greg's and Greg's did deliver, which is really good. So a Greg's bag is £2.59 and let's have a look what we've got in the Greg's bag. It's nice to be able to show you something. <laughs> okay, so we've got a honey roast ham and egg salad sandwich. It's very nice. Very nice, very soft. Ah, we've got a steak bake. I mean, I'll unwrap it, but we all know what a steak bake looks like, don't we? Surely we all know what a steak bait looks like. So there you go. Perfectly fine to eat. And we've got some yum yums. Two yum yums. Oh, look. Four sausage rolls. Fantastic. Keep them coming, a croissant, croissant. I'll open it so I'll show you, but it's all sealed. Everything's sealed in a bag and labelled. So we have a croissant. I'm sick of this camera not focusing, you know. It's irritating me. Like, everything's irritating me this afternoon, I'll tell you. I just wanted, I said to Darren, well, I, 
when I got back in the car after Shackle Lounge, he didn't even notice I'd not got a bag. And I was just daring say out to him. And I did say, like, halfway through the journey back, I really feel like I want to get drunk tonight. <laughs> but it still didn't click. And then when we got out of the car, he said, uh, shall I get bag? Because he was going to have it for his dinner. And then that's when I said, well, that's actually when I started filming his reaction. Like, it was short. And if you heard, he said a few choice words. I don't blame him at all. Because it did waste an hour and a half. Of it. Well, an hour and 20 minutes of his time. That's what we wasted with those two bags. The first, the first one was actually a CBD place, but it got a, um, a cafe to it as well, and they do bagels. So I was really looking forward to seeing that. And it, it's got quite high stars, and it was like £2.50 or something. It was a cheap one, but got really good reviews. Just weren't meant to be. Anyway, we've got another sausage on. So that's five sausage rolls. Still coming. It's a vegan sausage roll. Yeah, it's in. They knew I would come in. Now, I won't unwrap this one. These vegan sausage rolls are really nice, warm, and vile when they start going cold. So, like, if you've not tried one, it does taste to me like a Greg sausage roll. But once it starts cooling down, I don't know what it is, but it leaves, in my mouth anyway, it leaves a really greasy feeling at the top of my palate. Mm, not nice at all. I'm still going. A caramel custard donut. So that's how it comes. Like that. So we've got a fairly squished, but very adequate caramel donut. And last but not least, we have a white chocolate cookie. Now, this is the first time I've seen the Greg's bag have all the labelling on. The other it's three Greg's bags I've done now. The other three Greg's bags have not had the labellings on it. It's got all the ingre ingredients and allergens and everything. So there we go. We'll just wait for it to zoom in. There, see. It's taking its time. So, the Greg's bag was definitely, definitely not a waste of time. And it is only, it, it's about, everything seems to be about a seven minute drive from my house. But yeah, it's about a seven minute drive. The others weren't, the others were Central Sheffield. In fact, the first one, you had to drive if you've been to Sheffield, you'll know what it's a bit of an arse to drive around now. They're trying to make it as pedestrianised and one way as bloody possible. So to get to the cathedral area, because the first place we're on Campo Lane, we just got stuck in some right traffic. And it, how long did it take? Left the house at 10 to 3, pulled up at 25 past 3. That might not seem a long time for you, but definitely worth for me. It should have took us about 15, 20 minutes and it didn't. And then we still had to go all the way around the outskirts of Sheffield to get back to where we needed to be for Chakra Lounge. And then they blocked a road off because they were doing some road work. So then we had to go another way. So it wasn't a too good to go adventure today. It were a, I wish I'd not gone on a too good to go adventure today, but Greg's £2.59 for all that food absolute fantastic bargain thank you gregs thank you for pulling through again I'm gonna go and uh, darren's gone back to doing the flooring as i said we're doing his house up and he is a floor layer it's what we do for work to earn some money and it's a little it's an intricate pattern that he's doing in the dining room i think it's some form of herringbone and he had to leave it because i don't drive so um he left his job to go into Sheffield and normally we have lots of fun. If this, if you, if it's for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perimenopause. If it's the first time that you've come across any of my videos, I don't normally moan. I'm normally a bit of a positive person. 
It's just that today has been a bit of a shitter. But, well, you live and learn and it's a story to tell, isn't it? It's a story to tell. Who knows what's going to happen next time. But for now, I'm going to see what I can cook dinner. Dinner for Darren. I'm going to see what I can cook dinner for Darren. You know what I mean, don't you? You know what I mean? And I will say goodbye. And it's been lovely catching up with you. And hopefully I've not come across as a moaning mini because I'm not usually. But yes, weather's changing, isn't it? Weather's changing. It's all getting a little bit windy and autumnal. Anyway, it seems like we're blowing a gale now. So I'll say goodbye. Take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you again next time.